Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a 39 degree, no, it's 36 degrees this morning. It's a 50, 50 now, slowly coming up. So <sighs> I turned the video live off of the backup battery for our Wi-Fi system. It'll last for a few hours. But uh, anyway, I was able to get the, the battery on the MacBook Pro and battery of the Wi-Fi thing. I was able to turn yesterday's video live and uh, because we lost power. Dadgummit. I wasn't able to take, I had to do a hobo shower as I call it. <laughs> oh man, what a mess. So I'm backing the Acura out of the car and I'm like, what is that sound? It sounds like something's running in there. Well, I haven't heard this since, you know, long many months ago it's the heater in the shop and i'm like how is that oh power came back on as we're leaving but anyway what a way to start off a monday but that's okay we're used to weird things happening <laughs> you just brush it off and move on but anyway let's start off a monday welcome to the day so despite the fact that it looks like it's clearer today than it's been the uh, air quality index is actually higher. It's at 108. So I don't know. I guess it depends on where the where it's being read, right? Just love the fall colors. I can look at it all day long. Pay attention where the camera's pointing. I guess it probably helped too. Huh? I was probably staring at the inside of the roof. It's all foggy down here too. 52. Look at that, went up another another 15 cents. What was it, 575 last time? Something like that. They've been driving that old truck quite a while. That's really cool. I like the foggy mornings for some reason. I just don't like driving down the freeway when it's really thick fog. Because people are crazy when it's crystal clear. Add fog to it and it just gets dangerous. <laughs> Every three days, that adds up painfully fast. Every three days. From 36 to 64. Yeah, what the heck? That's nuts. That's not even fair. That's big old swing. Mm-hmm. And it's, uh, if you look off, well, the camera's not gonna pick it up. Yeah. We got the smoke haze here, too. Nowhere near as bad as it is up north, but it's yeah. still, they got it. They do share some of the love here. You take some of this. Yeah. Lighten my load. This is getting too heavy to pack around. <laughs> Hit me. Yes. All right, Mama. It's Monday. Monday fun day. Yes, it is. And uh, hopefully this will be a nice, smooth week. Hope so. All right. How's your shoulder? Are you nasty this morning? It's still nagging me. Like no other. <laughs> it's like really let go. It's funny you, how you can hurt yourself trying to not hurt yourself. I know. <laughs> Alright, Mom. All right, Have a wonderful bye. day. You too. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye-bye now. Bye. So my iPhone 14 Pro Max was supposed to be here today. It uh, come from China, you know, at the factory in China where Apple builds them. Went from there to uh, Korea. And then from there to Anchorage, Alaska, where it went through customs. So it clears customs, goes to Louisville, Kentucky. <laughs> and it hung there, and it was still there this morning. I thought, well, maybe UPS, some stock or something. Now, nope. by the time I get to work, it says it cleared customs in Louisville, Kentucky. So it went through customs twice, so it'll be here tomorrow. But I got my Spigen, I think... S-P-I-G-E-N. I've been using these things for a while. I like the easy fit deal. So I got the screen screen protector and my leather um, case for it. No phone. But look who's sitting on my bench again. So I get a call Saturday afternoon saying that um, they were moving the thing around. I don't think the customer even took off on it yet. They are here to buy it and roll out. And, uh, the uh, park brake is throwing a code. Then you try to ride it, you know, it throws a big code. So it's a park brake failure. Park brake. 
these this is the brembo setup these are usually pretty reliable now we replaced those oil level sensors that are in here it clearly had codes for that but uh anyway we'll get her up here and i can't get it to do anything wrong and it's not throwing a code for me now but uh anyway i'll hook it up see see if there's any stored codes um there's little micro switches up there where the motor's at up in here the cable's adjusted right i i always check that it's part of the uvi pdi all those things you know he's just in for a service you always check that stuff anyway poor folks didn't get to roll out with it somebody uh, did a halfway decent job of cleaning it up though got to give them that so uh anyway let's uh hook her up to a computer here and see what ails her hopefully it's just one of those little switches and i don't know it seems like there was some was that back in 13 i don't know there was some park brake motor issues i think that might have been later i don't know i have to look up tsts here anyway let's see what we can find there she is so i'm gonna lift the shield up on this thing because somebody cleaned it my camera is that skew that's right there on these sts that always was remember you guys screaming about these things way back in 2013 but i think the camera may i'm seeing over it but i think the camera may see it in the right spot it was so dirty it didn't matter last time but even with all that dirt i could oh look at this i could see the uh that genie did that for me bless her heart but um oh now i'm looking through it it's in when i'm looking towards the road a little bit i see it well hopefully it's good for you guys and you enjoy the enjoy the view so i was up front making a pot of coffee and uh getting myself one this morning and the Portland weather was on the TV there by the Riders Lounge. Oh, yeah, that old BMW. And uh, they're they're talking about all the smoke haze coming here in the Vancouver Portland area, and I'm going, yep. Yeah, welcome to my world. But look at look east. You can't even tell that big old mountain range is back there, where <laughs> wherever you can see. I hope you're not looking through that. It's right there horrible shields oh no waited for a light to come up here and wait for a light oh that shield's bad i may have to uh apologize in advance and kick that thing down one notch it's all manual but that's uh i don't know it's 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 like wearing the transition lenses with my glasses it kind of weirds me out a little bit I'm seeing over it but I see that in my lower peripheral if, if there's such a thing oh that feels good to get some air rolling through this thing park brake adjustment and if I was to look at this thing again you know what let's just take a look see if that chip seal has been uh, sunken in and swept yet yeah I'm telling you what that windshield is wigging me out this is literally what it feels like the when you catch the reader part of those transitional lenses I've been wearing them a whole lot more and I'm getting used to them I've been wearing them while I'm riding and everything else which I probably shouldn't Let's see if we can go down one notch. You're probably looking right. Oh, you're probably looking right through it. I might have went all the way down too. No, that's all the way down. Now well, let's just see how that works. I apologize if you're looking through that. Ooh, that's way better. So everything's all out in the open. The old hole's bagged up. Get out there and ride that thing as much as he can. These these riding days are well, the riding never really. I mean, there's a few times it just you get a lot of rain and it you can't ride in it. So here's where I'm going to do myself a Yui. Or what are we going to do? Oh, look at that! 
it's packed down really good but I'm still you know what I'm not gonna do it the 1330s you do a reverse you hit once forward skips neutral goes into uh, first these go to neutral then first I know it's probably some kids thought of a cool joke putting all that caution tape in that window but it definitely makes you stop and look doesn't it park brake adjustment I, I would I looked at it go oh that's fine and I'm going so I'm watching the thing work and I'm going that acts just like a park brake not being adjusted Got it back up in the air and man, I got fooled. And it's not much of an adjustment. It doesn't have to be out by a whole bunch. It can do some weird things that can cause them to uh, um, stick on sometimes. If yours is doing that a lot, um, check with your dealer. There's a bulletin for 14s and 15s, I think. I think it's mostly 14s and some 15s 1330s but there's a deal with the uh, park brake locking on and it's the it's the park brake motor to replace the motor for it but I don't know if there's a time frame on that thing and you can't just go in and go yeah it sticks it uh I think it pretty sure it throws a code but anyway, uh, I remember the little TST. It's not an official bulletin. And uh, usually TSTs will have a time frame. If you have a spider that old, you'll know if it's doing it or not. <laughs> but it has to be confirmed if I remember right. But when they do it, they do it a lot. So it's easy to confirm. But that's not what this was. Cable was two loops. I don't know how many times. I think I've even done several videos on this thing. Make sure your park brake cable's adjusted right. I got tricked. It's too hard. I'd have to show you. That little buckle thing that goes, that holds that arm back there. It's, it's kind of locks in a place where it, where it can't kind of flounder up and down, I think. Anyway, it was kind of stuck in a mode that it was tricking me into thinking the, the cable free play was good. Whatever. It's my mistake. 100%. 100% my fault. What kills me is how many times while I was working on this thing, park brake on, park brake off, move it around, park brake on, park brake off. How many times did the sales guys park brake on, park brake off? Well, it had a brake code. I think I remember the big crazy screen that pops up. But that was for the, uh, the brake fluid level sensors. And some of you may be savvy enough to realize in the manual, actually in BUDS, they give you a resistance reading for the sensors on 13 and newer. The other ones, they're... It was I don't think you could read them at all. Anyway, doesn't matter. If you checked brand new ones right out of the bag, based on their specs, they're wrong. And they they float all over the place. You need a different kind of tester than just a regular ohm meter to properly test those things. Young girl, I would not be walking through that part. Ooh, young lady, you are brave. I don't know. It may be safer around here than what I think, but anywhere in the big city, to me, is not really safe. I guess, I don't see that kind of people in that part. I used to. I think they monitor it a lot more, but still, I wouldn't be a young girl walking through that part. I'm just saying. That scares me when I see that. It just makes your heart sink, you know. Remember all the worrying about, you know, living in, in 
Portland with our daughters and even our sons too, you know. They're one minute late coming back from school and you, you're out there patrolling the area on your motorcycle. It's funny how you go from just this gut fear to when you find them and they're just BSing with a friend. You go, you go from this fear to just, I mean, madder than a stirred up hornet's nest, boy. Where the heck have you been? Do you realize what time? Oh, I'm sorry, I lost track of time. That was, that was a chunk of tire. It looked like a chunk of tread from a blowed up semi truck tire. Look at this, these colors are coming in out here and I hadn't rumbled through there. And I don't really have time to do it today. Oh no, and they're already thinning out. Some in the middle are really good though. So this thing was checked in to service, so I don't know if I'm supposed to take it back up to sales or not, because it's it's technically owned by a customer now. And I deeply, if you watch any of these videos, I deeply apologize that you didn't roll out of here over the weekend. You can come in and swing at me with a blunt object and I would understand. I done ruined your ride. But the weather's gonna be nice for a while. Come get this thing and ride the wheels off of it. Get some time on her. That's what I'm trying to tell you. She sure does run good. She does everything just like a good spider should do. Just uh, remember, keep that thing at 4,000 RPMs as much as possible. Especially when shifting. Don't sit at a stoplight and hold it at 4,000 RPMs. <laughs> that's, that's almost impossible unless you put it in neutral. But, you know, ride it at those higher RPMs. These things love that. All right. I'm bouncing. Well, hello there, YouTube. Man, we literally just got home. Put our stuff in the house and came out and started to do the goodbye. There's a little hole in the cloud now. The wind's blowing, leaves are flying everywhere. It's and this feels yeah. like fall. Yeah. Well, it's not very good for uh, phone mics. They don't like that very well. <laughs> but anyway, it was, uh, it was a good day today. I was busy. I think you were busy. Uh, it seemed like you were busy. Met some nice customers at the parts counter just a couple times I was up there doing stuff but yeah anyway overall good day mm -hmm. Damon got to go for a spider ride so. oh that's boy yeah all right so we're gonna roll with that all righty well thank you guys so much for watching we really do appreciate it we will talk to you tomorrow same smoke time same smoke channel don't forget to give a thumbs up and you guys have a wonderful Tuesday or Wednesday heck yeah we'll start this over again tomorrow yes <laughs> bye bye now